the idea to find that positive voice when there's so many factors out there that, that are negative, like in my situation, I wanted to be world champion, but you know, there's people saying, oh, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that, you can't be a champion because you need to go somewhere else. And for me, I just, I just focused on goal setting. I wanted, it, I wanted the end goal so bad that I wanted to do, like I said in my talk, everything I could to accomplish that goal. So I think it's about conviction. I think it's about a support network around you. Uh, so if you're going to start something and you want to accomplish a goal, have people around you that will support you, that will defend you, and that will give you every bit of advice and encouragement along the way. And I think if you have those great people around you as part of the team, that together everyone achieves more, I think you'll find that your goal is a lot easier to accomplish. When I got into the water for the first time as a 15-year-old, and it was one of those things, that aha moment, the epiphany, it's like, I found something that was, was greater than I was. And maybe you just don't know that, sometimes you just don't know what's behind the door unless you go through it. And I went through the door, I, I found swimming, and yeah, there's been other highs in my life up until that point, but swimming was one of those things where I said to myself, this could be, this could be it for me. I found my, my, my love, if you will, and uh, it turned out to be that case. Now, certainly if it wasn't, that would have been okay too, but I was willing to do everything I possibly could do in order to uh, uh, make sure that I was good at something and I just got lucky in the pool. In terms of trying to be normal, in terms of trying to redefine who and what we are, I think that, you know, for me it was a gradual transition. I mean, I want to be a swimmer. I still want to be a swimmer. I still want to train. I still want to go to the Paralympics. I'm just not as good as I once was and I'm not at that level anymore. But that's okay because I'm fulfilled with my wife. I'm fulfilled with my daughter. I got a great job. So there's many things in my life that took over. The transition was seamless for me. And I think for others, you may struggle with it. And certainly I struggle with my transition to be where I'm at today. But I think if you have that, again, that support network around you that helped you through it, and just believe that everything changes. You know, the seasons change, and we change as people. So I think if you realize that nothing's going to stay the same forever, you have to evolve. If you don't evolve, you're probably going to be left behind. Well, I've been with the Jays for, like, this is my 13th August, uh, and now into September. And every year, of course, was supposed to be the year, and now it's... This, this is the year, we, like, or this is hopefully the year. And everybody's super excited. Um, I'm, as a fan, I can speak as a fan, I'm really excited about the team's chances this year. And uh, I, hope we, I hope the Blue Jays do something amazing. Um, it's, a, it's an honor to work there. It's an honor to you know, be on the same team as everybody there. And um, you don't know what the future is going to hold, but all we can do is, is uh, cheer like everybody else in Toronto and around Canada. Okay, thank you.